Happy Mother's Day, everybody. It's great to have you joining us for worship this, this day. And uh, I want to share a couple of announcements as we prepare to worship God. One, uh, some persons within our church family are graduating from high school or college, and maybe that graduation event isn't quite what you wish it would be. It's not quite as celebratory, and, uh, or it's more limited. And if that's the case for you, we normally just recognize the graduates here in church and don't do much with it. But if you would like us to do something more, and we could have a special service just for graduates who are part of our church family or maybe at the cafe, we could do something like that. So if you're interested and you have some ideas, please, number one, if you have a graduate, let us know. And number two, if you have some ideas as to how we might make that meaningful for you and even your extended family, if there's any disappointment for you, let us know. Call me up on my cell phone, call me up at home, or send me an email, or communicate on Facebook. Don't leave a message here at church, because I hardly ever check it, okay? I just don't check it right now. So that's the first thing. Second thing, I'm president of the local food pantry, the Northern Berks Food Pantry, and we were debating, do we want to increase the number of distributions we have right now, or, and we came to a decision, we want to just increase the quantity of food. So we're increasing our food significantly, And we're also giving them some gift certificates at a local grocery store. And we're okay, but I've sent a letter out to area churches. If anyone has an interest in giving money beyond their gift to the church, we need your gifts to the church to keep going. But if you have a desire in this time of life to to care for some of the people that might be struggling a bit, you could uh, send money to the Northern Berks Food Pantry, write a check to Northern Berks Food Pantry, and you could send it to the church's address, and I will forward, we will forward that to the treasurer of the Northern Berks Food Pantry, and we'll um, to use that money to feed people in our own community. And uh, you don't have to go overboard with that, but just sharing the need with uh, people. And uh, if you're strained financially, I'm not pressing you, but some, of, some people, just this week, somebody called me up and said, I want to give to help uh, people going through some of the struggles of this. So there's, there's an outlet for you to do that. And finally, I wanted to mention that uh, Myers Adam died uh, this week on May, May 4th, and he was 88 years old. Uh, his funeral is going to be private uh, on the cemetery with the family, and then we'll have a, a much greater celebration of his life here at this church Later, uh, when this coronavirus scenario is beyond us. And so if you would, remember that family, Myers Adams' family, his wife, Mabel, and their children and others who grieve, remember them with your prayers. And uh, if you want to send them a card, you could call. If if you don't have their address, you could call the church office, and uh, Becky could communicate that address to you. So um, let's prepare our hearts right now to worship the Lord together. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to gather. And we thank you for the mothers who have enriched our lives. And we pray your blessing on them. We pray your blessing on mothers uh, in our church family and beyond. Uh, Anybody listening here, we pray your blessing on mothers around us. And we pray your blessing on our church, our community, our state, our nation, our world. And pray that you would heal. And in this season... Draw people to yourself. Even somebody listening to this video, uh, that you would draw all people to yourself and that we would become closer and closer to you and live for you more and more. In your name we pray, amen.